as you may remember, in previous parts, uh, we draw contours on 2D planes. At first, we uh, created a section plane and then put the contour on it. But uh, in 3D geometries, uh, the uh, a variable changes through all of the domain is of the sense, and we want to monitor it. To doing to do that, uh, as is to do that, CFD Post has an amazing option which is called volume rendering. You can uh, find it on the upper toolbar or from Insert tab. By making a volume rendering, like always, at first we should define the variable and the range. Uh, in this fin tube radiator, I wanna ch see the, I wanna check the temperature distribution along all of the domain. So, uh, change the variable to temperature and the range to local for better visualization, and then apply. Due to the large domain, it may take uh, some time, but like now. As you can see, now I can have the uh, temperature distribution along all of the domain. Uh, if I look at that from different aspects, you can see that uh, the hot water and uh, the environment of the pipes and how the temperature changes from uh, entrance to the outlet. And also, they can be uh, very handy to use in reports and articles. And for another one, I can change it to pressure. And uh, there is another option here, which is resolution. By increasing that, the resolution of the uh, 3D contour will increase, but uh, to see the uh, changes and can distinguish easily the differences. Uh, it can be uh, lower, like 10. The transparency option here is just like uh, others and by increasing that, I can transparent the geometry. Uh, 